G'day Internet, Kale from Mercado here to show you how you can set up a WorkBot for Slack. WorkBot is a way to build low-code, no-code apps for Slack or MS Teams, and they're an easy way to build human interactions into your automations. You can do just about anything with them. Here we use a WorkBot to manage all of our app provisioning requests and our technical issues. We use another one to keep an eye on incoming leads. Uh, HR uses a WorkBot to administer employee programs like the Work From Home stipend. And when you create a WorkBot for Slack, you need to set up a corresponding app in Slack. And if you've tried to do that before, you might remember it being a bit of a slog. You had to select exactly what permissions the app should have from a huge list and choose which Slack events the app could use. It took a lot of time, and if you're not super familiar with how Slack permissions work, it can be easy to get wrong. Well, don't be discouraged. You can set up a WorkBot for Slack without going through all of that. And I'll show you how. You want to start in the Tools menu and choose WorkBot. Go to the Custom Bots tab and click Create a Custom Bot. The bot needs a name. We'll call it HR Assistant. And click Create New App. This takes us over to Slack, where we select a workspace for the app to live. And you'll see we've already configured all of the scopes, permissions, and events that the bot's going to need. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can edit this configuration manually as JSON or YAML. But for most of you, this is going to work just fine the way it is. So we'll click Next and Create. Now we need to get a few basic credentials from Slack. This will help us log in. We need the client ID. We'll copy it from Slack over to Wakato. We'll need the client secret and the verification token. Now I've already deleted these credentials. Uh, when you're making your bot for real, obviously don't let anyone see them. Now we need to create a connection name and pick a folder where our automations will live. Click Connect, and we're taken one more time to Slack where we allow access to our Slack workspace. And in less than one minute, we've set up a brand new workbot and we're ready to start creating automations. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.